Giri horse. Oh, and do do and dwa dwa. Eh ho ho. Um, I kind of wish I had a Moongus, but it's fine. Because I, I turn up Psychic Train, which is good. Although I don't know if I can. Um. Oh, I turned off my Shukaberry. I think this is all right. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna protect the Max Strike here. Um. This is a situation where Focus Sash should be better because I would much rather. I would much rather be able to double the NGD and just get rid of it for guaranteed here, but this is fine as well. I could max Quake, but I, I think I'd I think the speed drop is more important. They're gonna max here. The one sleepy is the Saturday ribbon. Oh, I didn't even notice the mark. That's awesome. Darkest Larry could be good on Gigas. I agree, um, but I don't. I think these moves are more important. I'd rather just. I'd rather have slightly weakness to. Because the thing is that like. Once I get the speed drop, as long as I make sure that Zashian outspeeds Calyrex in the end, then I'll win, right? Because I can one-shot it whenever I feel like it, so, um, yeah. So I'm not too worried about Calyrex right now. They might go for... Max Mindstorm is, is, like, a little scary. They could just go for Max Ghost as well, but since I have the safe instant switch in the back, it's fine. I'm probably gonna have to switch out next turn, for sure, to save Weezing. They go for a Follow Me, not Helping Hand. That's good. Yeah, as one ignores Neutralizing Gas, so I do be careful there. They go for a Mindstorm. That's fine. I'm gonna take some damage here. Weezing will survive the turn. Ah, Weezing almost does not survive the turn, which is a fun little fact about Weezing. Yeah, a ton of damage. Tell me that's Life Orb, because they could have one-shot me with Helping Hand through Protect. Please tell me that's Life Orb. Oh, Psychic Seed. Oh, that thing's gone. Peace, homie. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's Life Orb. <laughs> Strike comes out. Not bad. Actually, you know what I can do is... Okay, I got the one shot. Uh, I can actually switch to Incident and Quake, and then next turn I can, um... Next turn I can maybe go for Darkest Lariat and get the get a survive because of the special defense boost. But yeah, basically if I get one more kill, I win this game, I think. Or at least the uh, Calyrex isn't that threatening anymore. Is she a win as a cop, maybe? Or what's the most threatening one? Cartania, interesting. Okay, cool. So, Cartania is kind of scary, so I'm going to switch to Instant here and go for a little... Um, do I want to Quake here? Do I want to Quake, or do I want to Strike again? I think I have to Quake here. I'm going to Quake into the Cartania here. I'm giving up my my As-1, but I'm getting Intimidate in return, which is quite nice. Ideally, they would go for Mindstorm again and just try and KO the Weezing. Because if they do that, then I can KO the Calyrex or the Cartania next turn, my choice. Um, Yeah. Do I need to lower the speed in the Cartania? I'll, yeah, I think I'll strike next turn. They Sacred Sword and Negegas, that's fine. Doesn't do that much damage, as you can see, and they go for... They could Quake this turn, actually. No, they Phantasm. Good move. They lower my defense, which isn't great for me. Which she does a lot of damage as well. I wonder if I take Max Quake from here. I'm actually not sure. I kind of feel like I don't. What do y'all think? Uh, I'm going to Quake here. I should have struck. Uh, strike was the better move in hindsight. How much does this even do, by the way? Any, any knowers? Uh, okay, that's a lot of damage. I think I'm just going to go for the KO and Kurtana here, actually. Assuming that plus one speed Gigas is faster than Calyrex. Is it even faster? 167 times 1.5 is 250. Yeah, it's definitely faster than Calyrex. Alright, I'm instead going to go for a switch to Weezing here. And save Intimidate and uh, Hailstorm the Kurtana, because that will ensure that there's no more switching. Uh, Kurtana normally don't run a protecting move. And in a two versus one, I think I can win this. Because I still have Zashian available as well. And there's only two turns left of Psychic Terrain. Protect? Ooh, it has Protect. Okay, that went quite poorly, actually. Cortana normally don't run a Protecting move. I did not realize it had Protect. Oi, noi. Okay, that's quite bad. Uh, okay, wait. I may. I actually think I threw this. Hang on. I think I may have made a mistake here. Yeah, oopsie. Oopsie! Hang on. Quake comes out. Oi, noi. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's in a wheezing, unfortunately. Uh huh. Yeah, detector's good for there for them. Uh, I, I can still win this. I can still win this. I can still win this. Cause they have their only ground move is neutralizing. Is um is mud shot, right? Okay, that didn't go super well, but it's fine. Um, cause I still have Zashian in the back. Which is good for me. And I still have Incinera in the back as well. Okay, so I go into Zashian here. Kind of regret setting the hail up, but it should be good to help chip down things. 
We also know that Calyrex is Ghost Ground Psychic, so maybe if it has like Speed Swap or something, that'd be good for me. Let's take a look at the rest of their team. Back to Babby for me. Plus one with Mudshot? Yeah, but I lowered the speed with Max Strike, so it's fine. Because that, I, it will never get the chance to hit me with plus one Mudshot, because I lowered the speed, because I can just attack into it. Unless I want to like switch to Token Guns or something. So I'm just going to Behemoth Blade here and go for an Ice Punch. Their other moves are, mods are either Whimsicott or Togekiss, or Tyranitar, who we don't care about. I could have Behemoth Blade into the Cartana slot here as well. That would have been a reasonable play, I think. It's okay, I just have to get through four more turns of Slow Start, and then I'm good. I think I'll die to Recoil before then, personally. Truthfully. My, like, they basically have two moves here. They have to switch here, but if they switch, then some, like, if they switch Calyrex out, okay, yeah, they just protect Ice Horse, or Ghost Horse, that's fine. I go for a Behemoth Blade, I fail. I didn't want to take the kill, because either Token Kiss or Whimsicott are bad for me if I switch, if I KO the other Mon. They smart, oh, that was bad for me, actually. Never mind, it sucks. Rizigajigas goes for Ice Punch here. Does a two-shot? Probably not. Ah, two shots! World Champ, baby. And that's why they call me Wolf World Champ Glick. Because I'm the World Champ, baby. I don't think that mattered, truthfully, but it's mental damage. It's a lot of mental damage. Slosser Psychic Train, so I could... Um, I'm just gonna be... Hem Wait, how much is a Slow Starter left? It doesn't tell me. I think I have three turns left. I think that it's actually... I want to switch to get uh, Intimidate Pressure up, but I think it's fine to just do this. I have a plan. Yeah, they switch out here. They're going to sack something. They're going to sack uh, Token Kiss. Oh, wait. This might not be a sack, actually. I think I messed up, because this is probably Babri... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, it is a sack. Okay, okay, I have a plan. I have, like, actually a pretty cool plan. I'm not going to lie to you. Because this is turn three... Yeah, I actually have a really cool plan. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the thing in there is that they could never KO both, so it's actually better for them that they didn't KO Gigas there, and chipping down Zashian doesn't matter because I'm in range anyway, right? You know what I'm saying? Second train is going to end here as well. Okay. So I'm gonna win this game by by use it by because slow starts gonna wear off. That's my plan. Check hail turns. Two turns of hail. I'll just protect both here. So I'm gonna protect both this turn because I assume that the turn that Weezing dies counts as a turn of slow start. That's my assumption here. In which case, this would be turn four, and they don't have a spread move, so they have to protect Zashian here. Yeah, Astral Barrage is like I'm definitely gonna lose my other two mons, but I should still be able to win this. And I actually may lose it may be a 0-0 win here at the end of the game. Like Regigigas may KO itself, but I would win on, on tiebreakers. Like I, I said I was gonna run out of slow start and win, but I actually wasn't kidding. That's how I'm gonna win this. Especially with Life Orb and Hail Chips. They're gonna over Astro Barrage. I could have just hard read that and attacked with Gigas, but it, Oh wait, that would have won me the game too. It's fine, this should work too. I'm assuming that this thing gets two shot by Life Orb Gigas at this range. It definitely does. It's not that bulky. Yeah, so actually attacking with Gigas there was fine too, because that way I would have gotten Zashi next to Instant. Um, and I'm actually just barely out of range of two turns of life orb, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to Ice Punch. Uh, I don't need to high horse power, I can always do it next time. They may even overpredict and expect me to go into Instant and go for Mudshot. No, they go for Astro Barrage. I will die to this, but Gigas is immune. Unless I counted wrong, in which case I, I just lose. Yeah, Zashi goes down, which isn't great. For your boy. They take a little life orb chip here. They get a boost. I think I counted right. I think this is turn five. Come on, Gigas. Get your act together. Get your act together. Okay. Woo. Woo. Okay. And that should be game. Although, maybe I actually didn't do enough damage. I think I have to high horsepower here, actually. Because I don't think Ice Punch does enough. So actually, maybe I lose... Did Ice Punch do enough? I wasn't paying attention. Are they even under half health? Because they... Oh, oh, it definitely did enough. What am I saying? Oh, I, I definitely didn't see how much of that did. Yeah, this, that definitely did enough. Yep, and then I win. And that's... The double protect turn is what is uh what won, won this for me, by the way. In case anyone was curious. I double protected. Or I, prote I protected with both my mons, and that allowed... That stalled the turn. They go for my shot. They kill. Bye! Now that I win with 2 HP left. Not bad, not bad, but we didn't get to plus 6. Yeah, a couple small mistakes here, but that's fine. 
still won in the end. Still pretty... Yep, nice, nice, nice. GG. Ooh, that was kind of close. Slow start does reset when you switch in. Or if you switch Weezing in and out. Okay, Rillaboom and Pichu the Festive. Interesting, interesting. Now, that's fine. Because, first of all, Grassy Terrain is good for me. And second of all... Uh, I forget the second of all. Boop, 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 boop. Neither of these Pokemon threaten my Zacian. So, I can just Swords Dance, Swords Dance, Swords Dance. Okay, they are faster than me. I think I just fake out Swords Dance. What do y'all think? They have Ice Horse in the back. Do I care about that? Not really. Should I care about that? Not really. Like, they don't have an answer to it. Like, Ice Horse doesn't beat uh, Amoongus. Okay, neutral attack. I'm just going to go for all reliable Swords Dance plus Fake Out. Yeah, this is this is the game, I think. I think this is the one. Any I was here is in chat. <laughs> it's turn zero and I'm already... <laughs> oh, already feeling, feeling good. Where's the person who said, yay, yay, Wolfie lost? I, I got I got something good for you, kid. Okay, good, good, good. Really good. Really, really nice. Okay, Swords Dance. Yep, Trick Room turn one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. They're probably going to U-turn uh, with Rillaboom and get into their sweeper, right? That's what we expect. But I have two counterplays to that. Ooh, I have two nice counterplays to that. Swords Dance again. Okay, I'm trying to get to plus six. Party Shot P2. I have two. Oh, unless they have Foul Play, which I'm done for. Because Foul Play is going to do a lot of damage. You might, if you, uh, if you just started playing VGC this generation, you might learn a new mechanic right now. So get ready. P2 switches, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Into either Ice Horse or Wishy- Okay, Wishy Washy, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Alright, you guys want to see a new mechanic? New mechanic real? New mechanic. Not a new mechanic, but a mechanic you might not know. Why is my instant only 197 HP? Did I really give it those EVs? Hold on a second. Why do I only have 197 HP stat? I think this might be... It's supposed to have... Okay, it's supposed to have 202 HP stat, so my instant is missing several- Oh! Oh, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I thought the... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Alright. Amoongus comes in, and then do they U-turn? Oh, do they U-turn? Oh! Oh no, the Rillaboom's gonna switch out! Chat, this is so bad for me and super embarrassing. Oh, chat, what am I gonna do? The Rillaboom wants to switch out. Well, first I should probably go into Incineroar, agree? Wait, how slow is Wishy Washy? Hold on a second. Wait, how slow is Wishy Washy? Wait, how... Wait, is Wishy Washy slower than Amoongus? Ah, uh, they speed tie. Okay, Go back in the Lapras. Okay, now the Rillaboom is going to switch out, right? Oh, wait, Rillaboom is still in the field? Why? Why is Rillaboom still here? Rillaboom, you're supposed to leave the field. What are you doing, buddy? All right, and now I'm plus five, which isn't thumbnail of his own, but it is good. Uh, I think we just Behemoth Blade into Wishy Wash. This thing is Max Quake. Do I think I get one shot by that? Nah. This is how I lose, by the way, making a play like this where I don't protect Zacian properly. It's tough because I really just want to get I really just want to get Aurora Veil up and then I want to do nothing else. Like you know, I don't think I died a minus one. I don't think I died a minus one. Um, Quake. Yeah. So if if they use U turn and you activate eject button, they will not U turn or Volt Switch. Then the they don't switch out because you switch first and it like basically it like eats their U turn. So there have been times where I've used that to like deny switches. Like when I ran Paris Trap with eject button Amoongus, I would use that specific mechanic to deny people trying to switch out with U turn. Because you could Parasong fake out and then predict protect and then switch to Amoongus if you could call the U-turn. And they would U-turn and then predict protect. They could break up my side U-turning though, so it doesn't work that well. It's not I don't think it's a bug. It's been around since Gen 6, at least, maybe before then. Yeah, only one big Pokemon can ever switch out by a single attack. Yeah, apparently that's the mechanic. This is Max Quake most likely. It does get mud shot. They go for Grassy Glide into my uh oh. Into my Zacian. Uh I don't think that's gonna make the difference. I think I should still survive. Oh god, please sir, it's life orb but it's and super effective, but I am bulky. Ooh, Zashin. Okay. Wishy washy. Back against the back against the whale. Back against the whale. Oh, they're life orb, okay. That parting shot was pretty big, I'm not gonna lie to you. Gmax resonance into the Rillaboom. I'm now very bulky. This shouldn't even I'm actually shocked at two shots. It might not be assault best. Alright, do we think we one shot the wishy washy here with plus five behemoth blade? Alright, please one shot. <laughs> no, we should watch it dodge it! Okay, I have to find a way to get one more boost this game. One more boost, please. 
Bonk. Yeah, not very effective. Yeah. Enjoy. How's your not very effective attack? I think I was supposed to use Lapras out here, by the way. I mean, okay, if I were trying to win, I would just resonate the Rillaboom and, and, like, win from there. But I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to get plus six. Oh, Ice Calyrex. Uh, that's going to be a problem, in it? Oh, wait. Ice Calyrex is fine, right? I do think I switched, though. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to switch here and just protect and... So, okay, if I attack into the Rillaboom, then I would just win because I could just Perish Long. But I would rather try and get plus six. Please don't forfeit. God, please don't forfeit. I forgot that the restricted Pokemon was Calyrex and not Wishy Washy. Like, when Wishy Washy Dynamaxed, I was like, okay, here it comes. The, the, the restricted Pokemon. Like, this isn't, to be clear, this isn't the right play. This is the thumbnail play. Like, I've already, I can win the game whenever I feel like it at this point. So, I mean, I could still lose. It's not guaranteed over. Because, um, I do have to watch out for, like, they still have some strong Pokemon left. So, I have to be somewhat careful. But, um, yeah. Like, but I really, I really want to get to plus six. For the thumbnail. This is where we, if I had Weezing, I'd have guaranteed some thumbnail play. Because I can switch in and out. They go for Grassy Glide. That's great. That's really good. Just like no damage, because that means that they shouldn't be able to KO me next turn. They hire Spire the Cat the Zashian. Cool, cool, cool. And now I get to burn another turn with Fake Out, and then I can just win from there. And I have eight turns of Aurora Veil, which is nice. Which means unless they crit me with something, then like I don't know, high horsepower from Rillaboom won't KO Zashian at this point in the game. Um so they're gonna go P2 here, right? So I'll Swords Dance to try and get to plus six. And fake out the Calyrex. I only got one turn into my Dynamax, but so did they, so it's actually worthwhile for me. Though, again, or, uh, or GMAX Resonance and Rillaboom is the better play there. Please don't forfeit. Please don't forfeit. Please don't forfeit. Yes! Good move. Really good move on their part, actually, by the way. In case anyone was curious. That was a real good move. Because they're going to... This lets them reset their drop and U-turn in the same turn. Because they correctly predicted my fake out. But I got what I wanted. Now I can win. U-turn into my Ensign. Yep, yep, yep. Critical hit. Not a big deal. Oh, I mean, it's just like... Does like 4.5 times the damage it was going to do, I think, but it's fine. It's thumbnail time, baby! Thanks for clicking on the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe -er. It's plus six time. Ordinarily, I would do this with two Swords Dances and one Weezing proc, but this game I had to bring instant instead because of all their mods. I was here. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Oh, this grassy terrain's been so nice. I healed so much from it. Alright, let's do it. Thumbnail. The beauty. <laughs> Plus six Ashian. Oh, feels good. Feels good to be king. It's good to be the king. Now we got okay, we gotta make sure we win this though, because otherwise I'm just gonna feel like a, a dummy. I could still lose. Like my move this turn is super obvious, but Oh, okay, I won. It's guaranteed over. Yeah, this is this. Uh, uh, I have so many ways of winning this. It's like kind of dumb. Unless P2 has like protect or something. No, wait, no. What am I saying? Yeah, because uh, now it's Perish Song time. Like I went with Perish Song at this point. Yeah, Behemoth Blade comes out. Audiwen, thank you for the Prime. Make sure you join the sub Discord. Oh, wait, look at this. And then I get to go into Amoongus, which gives me four axes, and then I just four Sacred Sword and then win. Trickrim goes up. Um, can I still lose this? I should probably be safe and just make sure, like, a guaranteed win no matter what, right? Even though it's gonna take a little bit longer. Because, like, I want to Spore here, but what if they're Iron Ball or, like, Lumberry or something, right? Whereas I actually have a safe option, which is I can just protect and switch into Ensign. So I'll, I'm going to make the saver plays. I hope you don't mind. Just take a couple more turns. But, like, if it were Tournament, then... If it was Tournament and I were, for some reason, at plus six, then I would I would play a little bit safer. Permanent Intimidate. Actually, it's not permanent. They can kill me and get a get a boost. Exclamation point Discord to join the Discord. They're going for the freeze. That's the correct play. Okay. 
Huh. I don't think they have foul play. What do y'all think? But I do think foul play would kill me at this point. Ooh, that's an amazing animation. Whoa. I, I don't know if I've seen this before, but it, that's so cool. Big damage. That's a crit. Nope. Just big. Just big damage. Kravnos, thank you for the three months. I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, let's go for Sacred Sword and Fake Out. As long as I don't get something cheesy, this should be fine. And since I still have Lapras, this should be pretty much over. Like, if something, let's say I got, like, Surprise KO'd, I would just go into Lapras and Parasong. And then switch. Um, and, yeah. I think you say it's cool and you've never seen it before every time you see it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Fake Out. I don't have any focus. Ice Beam is the correct play. Just 7 damage. Okay, and that's the game. Wow! wow. Okay. It's kind of looking like a 4-0, I'm not going to lie to you folks. It's looking like it's looking like back against the wall for our for our hero here. Oh, I don't have to play defensive anymore. I can just be with blade and parting shot. Because even if they KO me now, they would be at minus 1, minus 2. Yeah, GG. And I can fake out Paris song. Why should I get sword over CC? Because you're boosting your attack anyway. Um so you you prefer like the longevity of Sacred Sword, I think. Right, choose Ashian, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um I have two options here. I either go for I don't know what I'm supposed to go for here, because I feel like they're just gonna do something annoying. I either go for Max Geyser and get damage on this Ashian, or I go for Auroraville and try and set that up immediately. Um I'm down to max Geyser the Zashian here and switch to Moongus. Because once I get a Geyser on the Zashian, the nice thing is that, um, once I get a guy, once I, oh no, that didn't work. Oh, that super didn't work. Oi, no, oi. Ah, oh, that was so badly. Like, it's fine. Like, we're gonna beat this app. We know, I know, like, I know how I'm gonna beat in Lapras anyway, but actually, I forgot this had a team of Lapras as the max, so setting up Rain is not great. Probably Eerie Impulse Raichu or something. That would be annoying, I'm not gonna lie to you. That'd be certainly very annoying. I assumed it was, like, Nuzzle stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not good. Oh well, can't win them all. Okay, it's Water Absorb. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Alright, well, that went badly, but whatever. Uh, G-Max Resonance and Protect is actually my best move here. Because they're going to G-Max Resonance into my Among Us. And that's going to be a switch out. Yeah, that was a bad turn one. Oh well, I, I think it's still fine though. Like, I waited to turn a Max, but in this in this matchup, like... The thing about Lapras in general is that your Max just isn't that impactful. You know? Like, you just need to get one attack off to make sure you get Aurora Bell up, and then you're fine, I think. They're going to go for a Volt Switch into the Among Us. Not today. And then they're going to go for a GMX Resonance into the Among Us. And I'm going to go and take this hit. Do a little bit of damage. I would have just spored there if I, like, spored the Lapras. But because I have a Jack Button, I had to protect. Which is fine, because I get a little bit more health back from this. Pop! Peace, homie. Then I go into my Zacian. So full HP on everything. Ah, okay. Stretch resonance and protect. If I don't get resonance up, I actually think this is doomed. They're probably gonna go into. They're probably gonna volt switch here. Or actually, they may just nuzzle. Oh man, I have I have a bad feeling about this. My Lapras is light clay. This was. Oh, huh, okay. They actually switched Lapras out into, I guess, Zacian? No, not Zacian. Into Aurora. Yeah. Alright, well, we know all the mons now. They don't have that much offense aside from their Zacian, which is fine, um, because I have Swords Dance plus support. Like, my, I think my Like, they have Raichu instant, and I have, um, Amoongus. I have Amoongus. Let's see, please. I gotta go for Nuzzle. Please get the attack off. No. 
I didn't get Auroraville up! Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Just don't, just don't panic. It's fine, I can still win this. It's fine, I can still win this. It gets freeze for the last game for returns? Yes. But I lost that game anyway. Like, the freeze didn't matter. Right? Like, I was losing that game anyway. I couldn't, like, I could, like, once Frismatic Laser happened, I was, that game was over, right? And actually, the freeze more, it might even, actually, no, it didn't pay me to stay in, that's not fair. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get Auroraville up. God, that's so bad. Okay, it's fine. There should be Nuzzle. Oh, Helping Hand. Oh, I wonder if they read the Amoonga switch in? Probably not. That'd be crazy. Okay, yeah, anyway. Helping in Raichu means it's not a Salt Fest, though, which is interesting. Yeah, they can make a play like that because I didn't, um... I really don't want to get Nuzzled. I'm doubling the Raichu, stupid mon. If they Helping Hand here, they're just out of their mind. Because the obvious play from them is to Helping Hand Flare Blitz, which would just get totally soft. Like, my obvious play is Fake Out Instant and Spore. Okay, they don't go for Helping Hand, that's good. This might be Parting Shot. Flare Blitz, that's not great. It's so terrible, though. As long as I don't get crit, okay, don't get crit. Don't burn. Recoil is fine with me. Get a little sleep off in the chat. Okay, that's great. Now, I don't know what the item is in this instant, right? So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna chill for a second. Okay, I'm gonna switch into my Lapras and Parting Shot into the Instant Roar. Because I need to get Instant off the field. Like, that turn was really dangerous if they'd switched out Instant... Or they'd Parting Shot it, because then Zashian might have just blown through my team. Like, I have two goals. The first is to set up my Zashian, and the second um, is to stall at the Aurora Veil. Vale, which is why I think this is still winnable. So I Parting Shot at the wrong slot, actually. Zashian comes in. Okay, that's not great. I wish I parting shot of the Zashian here, but whatever. Oh, they actually parting shot my instant, okay. They're faster than me, which is interesting. How much health does my Amoongus have? Probably like a pretty decent chunk, right? Lapras comes in, okay. So it's Sleeping Raichu, Lapras, Zashian, um, and Instant versus... Instant Amoongus, Zashian, and they have a Royal up. But I'm burning turn, so it doesn't really matter. Amoongus is pretty healthy, I'm not gonna lie. Lapras is minus one. Um, I, kind of, I wish I had Zashian on the field right now, but I couldn't really justify switching it in. I think I have to go Amoongus here. I'm pretty sure I take minus one uh, of each of these attacks, so I'm just gonna Spore. Well, it's actually neutral, Zashian, if you want to be technical, but whatever. Spore and Switch. I'm pretty sure I take my uh, neutral Behemoth Blade and the minus one Freeze Dry. It's not. It's a light clay. Let's see if they switch. Something is probably switching. No, they just stay in. Okay, so they're either gonna like they they don't know if I want to protect and switch instant in or in or if they just want to or if I just want to uh, card switch. I'm taking a very big risk this turn because if I get this turn wrong, I'm in pretty much. I wouldn't say it's Doom Doom, but I'm. I would say it looks really bad. They go for SD. Okay, that's why I made this play is because. Um, I thought it was somewhat likely they made a really aggressive play like this. And they go for a freeze dry into my mushroom, but it should do- Oh, into my- yeah, into my mushroom. It does like nothing, as you can see. Still have a bunch of health left. Don't get frozen, that's really big. And I spore the Zashian. Cool. So it's zero turns of sleep on the Zashian, and it is at plus two. Which I can deal with. And how many turns of Aurora have I left? What did that say? Two turns. Alright, and the Aurora is almost gone, so... Yeah, Moongus is kind of broken. Parting shot here, and I think spore here. Because they're going to bring Incident into the slot, and I need to know if it's safety goggles or not. And this will lower Zashian back down to neutral. They just protect Lapras. Okay, good move, good move. Drop that. Go into Zashian. It's one turn of sleep on the Zashian right now, which is fine. I go into my own Zashian, full HP still. Now we're Isha plus one. They're asleep for one turn. They have Instant in the back. They have Lapras who just protected on the field. Uh, they have last turn of Aurora Plus one, plus one. I'm going to Swords Dance here. And I'm going to switch to Instant. This will cover a wake up. This will cover a couple plays, but this, this covers... I think they're probably going to switch Lapras into Instant here. And I want to be at plus two when that happens. 
Yeah, they switched Lapras into Instant. I also want to get some Regenerator back on my Amoongus. Oh, and to Raichu. Interesting. Okay, uh, this could just be this could be the game right here. If they don't wake up, I may I have very, very likely to just run away with this game instantly. Uh the GS pot, thank you very much for the sub. Let's see if they get the one turn sleep. They we don't know yet. Still tension. Last turn of arrival as well. Oh, they got the one turn sleep. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay, well. Oh, never mind. I'm a genius. Um, the Aurora Bell's gone. I am, like, pretty sure that they're going to switch into Incinera this turn. So I'm just going to do this, and they're still neutral, right? I can just switch to Amoongus, right? It puts me in a pretty good spot. I can actually make an aggressive play, and then plus three. Because they don't want to let their Zashian go down, right? Though not every Zashian runs Protect, but they're still neutral, so... By putting Amoongus in the field, I pretty much put myself in a pretty nice spot here. I can Sacred Sword Spore the next turn, even in the worst case scenario. Unless they Swords into which case I'd have to play defensive, but it's fine, you know? Because I can always Sacred Sword the left spot from now on, as long as Sashian's in the field. I hope they know that they can't wake up this turn. Ah, oh, they stayed in! Okay, I'm really surprised by that, personally. Because I could have just one-shot their Zashian, unless they want to protect it? That's insane! They went for that plus- I could have just one-shot their Zashian! Okay, they- I don't think they're max speed either. Wait, that was a crazy play on their end. I cannot believe they went for that. That's actually wild. SS into my... Okay, well, I'll just do any damage with that. It's fine. Um, I think I have pretty safe moves to win this one. Alright, I just have to kill their Zashian at some point. Um, I feel like they're going to Swords Dance again this turn. But I've been wrong before. Um, I'm at plus two, right? Like, I want to just attack with both, but Protect plus Flare Boots would be really bad for me. So I think I have to protect plus... Oh, wait, I still have Parish Song. Okay, yeah, I think I just protect plus Switch. And that gives me Fake Out Sacred Sword next turn, and that's kind of unstoppable. Yeah, they need to Parting Shot this turn, or they're doomed. If they Fake Out, they're super doomed. Or they need to Sub. Sub is fine as well. They go for Fake Out. Okay, I think it's doomed unless they Sub here. SD, okay... That's fine. Um, I don't know if they have Protect, but I am pretty confident that I'm faster. So I'll just Sacred Sword, get the kill into Instant or Lapras, and then pick up the Zashian, I guess? I could also just go over to the Zashian now if I wanted. But I think this is fine. They're plus two, right? Or they're plus... Are they only plus one? They're only plus one, right? I'm pretty sure. Which is just like... Yeah, okay. I don't think they have Protect, and I also think they're slower than me. Let's see who moves first. That's the third time in a row I've moved first. I'm pretty sure I'm faster. Like, I'm, like, mostly sure that I'm faster. Because I've won a lot of speed ties. Speed ties. Uh, I do need to be careful, because I could lose this still. Let me think about this. Um, could I still lose this? I really just want to Behemoth Blade and switch to, uh, Lapras, I think? And then go back into Instant, fake out Parasong. Yeah, yeah, this covers everything, even in the worst-case scenario. This should be fine. So I'll switch instant into Lapras, and as long as I don't get full parried, this should be game over, I think, because Amoongus can close it out for me. They have they've lost three out of three, three four out of four. Yeah, they're not they're not it's not a speed tie. I think plus two KOs. I mean they, they have some bolt clearly, but I think plus two beam blitz is still KO. I've made an error. But they don't know they don't know how much damage attacks do. They freeze dry into my Lapras, okay, it's fine. Yeah, if that had been Behemoth Blade, they would have KO'd me, but they don't seem to know the type chart very well. Let's do this. Yeah, if those two Sacred Swords had been Behemoth Blades, I would have lost my Zashian by this point. They had Predict the whole time, they just didn't use it? That's wild. Alright, you want to see a Lapras play? I miss a Hydro Pump? Yeah, I've never seen it happen, so it's pretty rare. Yep, they, ne they never miss. Lapras players never miss Hydro Pump. Yeah, my Zashian is Max Attack Para. Alright, this game over. This game over. This game over. Uh, wait, is there... What's the guaranteed win condition here? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Fake out, switch, protect, protect. Whatever, whatever, win game. Neutral. And then... Fake out. There were safer ways of doing this, probably, but I thought this was fine. 
Because I figured I was faster and I was figured I would one-shot, which is wrong. But I also figured they didn't have Protect, which is also wrong. But yeah, once I got Parasong off, this was fine. Because I'll lose Instant this turn, and then it'll be a 2 versus 2 with 2 turns of Parish left. Take out Might even KO. Nice. Instant Aura's a Zashi encounter. Not because of Fake Out, but because of Intimidate. Or, not because of Intimidate, but because... Yep, they never miss. Well, the thing is, I don't have Parish counter on me anymore. <laughs> I actually technically didn't need to switch Lapras out there because um, the Parish counter didn't matter because I'm paralyzed, but I didn't anyway. And now I, I could literally win by just letting go of the controller at this point, which is crazy, but yeah. Bop, 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 bop. GG. Oh, man, I can't believe people like this team. Like Lapras Ashian. It's so slow. Thunder Landy, oi. Y'all want to see some weaknesses to ice? 2020. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, probably 11, 12. 12 Nats, 12 Worlds, 11 throughout, and then World 16. Best Wolvie team was Apple Team? Yeah. I should have brought that to a tournament. Yeah, this team, the Thunderous is really difficult for me to deal with, truthfully. That's one of the issues that's with this team. Uh, I normally like to. Wait, they stayed in? They stayed in? With Landorus? Huh? Why are they, uh, why are they out staying in with Landorus? Probably just click on Earthquake, right? Do you think they're max lightning in me? I hope they don't. Oh, I hope they don't. Please don't. Why oh, I didn't use Apples in PC2? I did, I did kind of want to win. Do you think you're more an offensive or defensive player? Uh, at first I was very aggressive, then I became extraordinarily defensive, and now I'm back to, like, being more in the middle. I think I'm probably bulky offense, like, with a leaning towards offense. Please airstream me. Okay, well. You can't win them all, but we at least made one turn correctly. They just stayed in with Lander, so I'm assuming they're gonna Earthquake me. Uh, which is bad, to be clear. But I don't really have, like, both my back mods are reach ground, so I'd rather set. I'd rather sack. I'd rather have instant take damage since I'm gonna give. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'll give them the defiant boost, but it's just so much life orb. There used to be a bug with that, uh, but I think I have to give them defiant boost anyway. Is what I was saying. Yeah, this team is my team is not great. I'll be honest. Like this is not my this is not my best work. I just because originally it was just gonna be coughing wheezing and it turned into this. Oopsie. I can't believe that. Please tell me this is a U turn at least. If they really just earthquake and we're comfortable giving up landers, I'd, I'd be so surprised. Oh, it's, oh, interesting. Oh, okay, not a bad move, but it's not going to work for them, unfortunately. They probably were thinking... Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's Goggles Thunderous, based on how they're playing it. I kind of feel like it might be Goggles. Yeah. Like, that would make some sense to me. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but... Oh, I crit them? Oh, let's go. Let's go me. That's why they call me Wolf Gets Critical Hits Click. If you know what I'm saying, uh, I'm going to Resonance. I could take the one shot here, but I think Thunderous is a bigger threat, so I'm just going to Resonance and Parting Shot. They get max guard, but they're not getting anything out of that. They're just going to let me reposition. So I'm cool with that. Landorus isn't that much of a threat in the long run. They go for Knuckle. They get an attack boost into my instant, probably. Okay. They actually do a lot of damage. All right, because they bait my boost with their attack. Um, not, not that big a deal. Truthfully, we're totally cool with that. They're going to go for Fly next. Bop. They, I shouldn't die to this. They're neutral, and I'm Aurora Veiled. Yep, I survive, which is going to be helpful later. I do want to keep instant alive still. Yeah, like, playing this style of team is so natural to me at this point, but it's so slow. Like, it's it's just, like, I, and I have so much less patience for it because I played this way for so long. AV? Yeah, maybe AV, because I didn't do that much with the GMF Resonance, if I, or I wouldn't have done. Yeah, and, except I, uh, I crit. Go back into Amoongus. They also never bothered to set Electric Train up, which I understand, because they wanted two other things. Like, I understand why they didn't do a turn one, I understand why they didn't do a turn two, but... Um, yeah, now they don't have a really good way to stop Amoongus's from just sleeping everything. I mean, they couldn't really- they ignored Lapras turn 1, because if they had gone for, like, max lightning, then I would have just- like, they expected rage powder. So that's- it was a prediction, like, turn 1, they max flew, but turn 2, they probably should have max lightninged. Or, like, at least into Lapras, but maybe they wanted to get rid of Instant, I don't know. Also, they're down a Mon, which means, like, I'm one Mon away from winning with Parish Song. Alright, Zashin is the switch. Um... What's their last one? They still have Behemoth Blade. They are plus one. Um, but I have a Roarville up. I think I can just Spore the Zashian and... Do I want to get Geyser up? Uh, I'm just going to click Resonance. I think it's safer. I don't really want Rain to be up this game, I think. 
Uh, maybe I want Rain to be up, right? What does Rain do for me? It Because it's either a Lucky, Moltres, or Mushroom in the back. Uh, I don't mind Rain being up. Maybe it means that I can one-shot the Lucky or something. So I, don't, I think they're going to fly here anyway, but yeah, I'll just Hydro Pump Spore here. And if they fly s s plus... Uh, up. Let's see here. There should be Behemoth Plate. Oh! Oh, I super forgot about that. Oh, wait a second. I'm actually... Oh, uh, wait, I think I'm throwing, I think I'm throwing, I'm thinking, wait, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, wait, no, I'm fine. Well, that was a great move. Okay, wait, this went from fine to not fine extraordinarily quickly, but I can still win this, it's fine. Um, but I don't think I one-shot the Landris, which is bad. Do I get, do I get one-shot in return? Because they're probably Swords Dance, right? I think they probably have to attack Amoongus this turn, because they know Fly won't do it. But yeah, they're probably sub Swords Dance. Which means my win condition is now Parasong. Fly into a Moongus. They... Sword Dance. Sacred Sword. Oh, okay, weird. That's a lot of damage. The heck. Freeze Dry here. Okay, that's great. That's probably fine. Okay, if the last mod is Regia Lucky, I actually might be screwed. No. Yes. Ugh, it's gonna be rough. Like I, I only win with Parasong at this point because I can't really break the Zashia substitute easily. So I'm, I don't know if I die to. Okay, they didn't predict. So unless it's really lucky as like safeguard or something. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I was worried that Electro would KO my Lapras. Also, Sacred Sword did so much. I was shocked. Even with Aurora Villa. I go for probably Behemoth Blade. Yep, into my Amoongus. This won't kill because of the Aurora Villa. I don't think it would kill even without Aurora Villa, but it shouldn't do that much. Unless they crit me, in which case the game is over. Okay, survive. Let's see if it's Goggles Lucky. Probably not. Yeah, it's actually just... I feel like opponents actually always feel so strong. Not Goggles. Is it Lumberry? Is it Chesterberry? Bouncing slowly. Okay, that should be the game. Because now I can Parish Song and the Rage Powder. And then protect, protect, and then... Yeah, that's game over. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright, I won. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. I should have doubled the Zashi in the turn where I went through uh, Max Geyser into the Landorus. Because it was obviously it was flying. Protect? Okay. But you can't protect against Parish Song, nor can you sub in front of Parish Song. So this is... Yeah. Crit ignore uh, Aurora Veil. Which is reduced, increasing my bulk by 1.5 times right now. This is scary. Yeah, nothing blocks Parasong, except for, like, Phantom Horse. And then... One, two... Is this a fun team to play? Um, nah, not my, not my most fun team, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I want you to sleep. Wow. Uh, if I don't switch here, I still would win. I can do whatever I want now, but I think the best move is to just double out, sack one of my mons. Switch to instant, check turns, one turn to Veil, not bad, switch to Zashian. Yeah, I like, I can do literally whatever I want, because even if I just, yeah, okay, GG, yeah, the game, there's, if I protect every single turn, they can't win.